Hello students, I welcome you all back to this video to our chapter that is atoms and molecules. This is the third part of the video. We have already finished the two parts and this is the third one. In the previous part, we discussed about the atoms and in today's video, we are going to discuss about the topic molecules. So in the previous class, we discussed about the atoms and and we studied that the smallest particle of an element that retains the properties is the atom and all the elements are made up of atoms of one kind. Below are the hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen. These are considered to be the atoms. So now let's talk about what is a molecule. So the group of atoms formed by the combination of atom, it is the molecule. So what you can say whenever there is the combination of one or two at two atoms or a group you can say they forms the molecule and molecule can exist by itself and retains the properties of the element or the compound so h2 okay this is the molecule this is the atom single h is the atom and when two h combine together to form h2 this is the element okay so now let's talk about the structure of atom okay the atom contains the nucleus and the nucleus contains the protons neutrons and around it are the electrons electrons are negatively charged and negligible by mass protons they are positively charged and they have the mass and neutrons they do not have any kind of charge and they have the mass so according to the Ernest Rutherford, he conducted an experiment and found the following model for the atom. So according to him, the center of an atom is positively charged, dense mass called as the nucleus is there. And then the electrons revolve around the nucleus in certain definite parts called as the orbit or the shells. And the number of electrons in an atom is equals to the number of protons. Okay. That was about the structure of the atom. Now let's talk about the molecules. So molecules, when two atoms are attracted to each other with a strong force and a bond, then there is the formation of a molecule. So what you can say, the two atoms are attracted together by the strong forces on the bonds and they form the molecules. So when two or more atoms join together to make up a molecule, it is called as chemical reaction. So how does a molecule is formed by the atom? By the chemical reaction. So you can see one element, uh, so I mean one atom, this is the another atom. These two combine together with this one to form a molecule. So molecule is the smallest particle of an element or a compound which exists independently and shows all the properties of that substance. So a molecule is a group of two or more elements that are held together by the attractive forces what how does the two elements are joined together by the attractive forces so the atoms of same element or different element conjoin together to form the molecules for example two element of nitrogen will form n2 the same way two oxygen o2 then two oxygen and one carbon co2 so this is how these are the pro the product or the molecules formed by the combination of the elements or the atoms. So the molecule of elements. So element contains the atoms of the same element. The molecules of same element contains only one atom and molecules of same element contains two or more atoms. Molecule can either be formed by only one kind of atoms or by two types of atoms. For example, non-metal non argon, AR, it is monoatomic, only one atom is present. Then helium, HE, it is also monoatomic, only one atom is present. But in case of a non-metal oxygen, O2, so two atoms are present. So it is a diatomic. In the same way, hydrogen, it is a diatomic. Nitrogen, chlorine, they are diaton diatomic. Okay. In the same way, sulfur, S8, polyatomic. Poly means many. Okay. What is the meaning of a poly? Poly means many. So many atoms of sulfur combine together. Okay. And then one is sodium monoatomic Na. So mono means only one atom. Di means two atoms combine together to form a molecule. 
then symbols of the molecules of the elements in some elements atoms are joined together and form the molecules combining the symbols of the atoms in a molecule gives you the formula of a molecule for example oxygen o2 okay hydrogen it is h so h2 nitrogen 2n forms together n2 so these are the group of two atoms in each molecule and they will be considered as diatomic molecules okay then molecules of compounds first was the molecule of elements now we are going to talk about the molecule of compounds so molecule of compound contains atoms of two or more different types of elements in the previous one molecule of elements means they comprised of the same type of element but here there will be two different types of element and from that we will form a compound in previous one we formed element for example water what is the formula h2o so h is different o is different so hydrogen and oxygen together by two hydrogen and one oxygen they forms the water in the form in the same way in ammonia also what is there nitrogen and hydrogen one nitrogen and three hydrogen so in this way when two atoms are joined together to form a compound so this is called as the molecules of compound so you can see nitric acid sulfuric acid you can see there are many h hydrogen sulfur and oxygen two hydrogen one sulfur and four oxygen so this is how the combination of more than two also atoms combined together to form a compound so here also you can say atomic molecular theory of the matter atoms of an element okay single single are there atoms of an element then that is diatomic molecule elements so similar elements two to are like similar atoms are combined to form an element so what is the molecule of a compound you can see when two types of element or atoms are combined together to form a compound here also you can see mixture of elements and compounds okay this is the element this is a compound why because it contains the same atom okay this one also contains the same atom but here two types of atoms are present so that is why it is the compound and these are the elements here also you can see two hydrogen will form hydrogen molecule h2 two fluorine atoms this is also same this is also same so fluorine molecule but here one is oxygen and one is carbon so it is two different atoms combined together to form a molecules and here also fluorine and carbon okay four fluorine and carbon they are forming combining together and they are forming a molecule of carbon tetrafluoride which is also called as a molecule okay so that's it all for today today we discussed about the molecule the compounds of Uh, the uh, uh, the molecules of element and the molecules of compound so that's all for today we'll be meeting up in our next video with a new topic till then bye everyone